Now Raila Odinga is a human being. And as a human being, Raila Odinga can get sick at any given time just like you and me. And because Raila Odinga is also a human being, he is entitled to his privacy. But Raila Odinga is a public figure. And as a public figure, the public are also entitled to information, credible information about Raila Amolo Odinga. And therefore, the people handling Raila Amolo Odinga and any other public figure must at any given time try to balance between Raila Odinga, the public figure, and Raila Odinga, the private individual. And when Raila Odinga was flown to Dubai, for those who remember, the information about that trip was leaked to the country by Denis Itumbi. So which means people handling Raila Odinga did not communicate about that particular trip because they wanted to treat that trip as a private trip because Raila Odinga is both private individual and a public individual. And because he's a public figure or individual, Kenyans were now very keen on knowing what was happening to Raila Amolo Odinga. And indeed, it later came to pass that Raila Odinga was in Dubai for medical surgery. And later on, Raila Odinga emerged and publicly addressed Kenyans in a one-minute video, explaining that he's now fit. And again, after two weeks later, Raila Odinga was flown back into the country. And why am I giving this information? I'm giving this information because when Joho and Junet went to pick Raila Molodinga, they communicated about that trip. Assuming Joho and Junet did not communicate that they were traveling to Dubai to visit Raila Odinga, and that information was leaked by someone else, how do you think it would have been? So it would have been interpreted or misinterpreted in several other ways. So sometimes it's just important to issue certain communications. Because some two or three days ago, Miguna Miguna made, an, made a post on his Facebook page and Twitter. This is what Miguna posted. That conman Raila Dinga had a stroke. That's why he was illegally flown to Dubai using taxpayers' money and in contravention of COVID-19 restrictions. It is also why he has never recorded, he has never been recorded uttering a word to the media. Why is he hiding? He should retire and call it a day. Now that's Miguna Miguna and he's continuing. The stroke mangled his mouth slightly. That's why he is hiding his face. The reason why his image, images and videos were not taken in the plane going and returning we know how much he relishes publicity. Joho and Junette realized their silly images eating hamburgers, <laughs> but not the con man. Now, if you read if you read that statement, I mean that tweet and, and Facebook post by Mugona Mugona, personally, when I read it, I just ignored it. Because personally, I believe Mugona Mugona has a problem. And the problem of Mugona Mugona can actually be solved by Raila Molo Dinga and by President Uhuru Kenyatta. Because recently we saw photos of Miguna Miguna. And in my view, he might not be doing very well. And Miguna Miguna is very better. This guy is outside the country, stuck. He can't come here. His peers, most of them have become members of parliament. Some are governors, you know, senators. But for him, he's only remaining with taping and posting stuff on Facebook from far away the country. But that's besides the point. What is the status of Raila Odinga? Because once Miguna Miguna made this post, I want to confess to you guys, I've received a lot of requests from you guys asking me where Raila Odinga is. From several people on this platform and even outside 
this platform. I want to tell you that Raila Odinga underwent a minor operation. But at his age, you can't stock of minor operation. So we can only say Raila Odinga was operated. And Raila Odinga is currently recovering. And Raila Odinga is in Watamu. Because yesterday, Mama Aida, Mama Aida actually knows how to cook. She once cooked for us <laughs> breakfast. We Mama Najwa Kupeka. So Mama Aida had a Zoom meeting with uh, several other people. I, I saw Shemo Chodo in the in the in the image which was shared. I, I saw Ezekiel Moto and several other people. And they were discussing about Mama Aida Library, which is coming up in Homabi at Ogande High School. So Mama Aida invited Raila Odinga to come and just greet people. And Raila Odinga came and he greeted people. And those who were in that meeting, some of them even posted, shared those videos. And Raila Odinga just told them, it's fine, he's doing fine, he's in Mombasa. And that's the topic of our discussion today. Why is Raila Odinga in Mombasa? What is he doing in Mombasa? Because we know Raila Odinga came to the country. And when he came, I want to dispute... First of all, this narrative which Miguna Miguna is relaying that Raila Odinga had a stroke. Let me just use Miguna Miguna to debunk that. Miguna Miguna said some three days ago, a day before he claimed that Raila Odinga had a stroke, he was saying, Conman Raila Odinga, Ali Hassan Joho, Junet Mohammed, Winnie Odinga, and Betty Chalo flew into Kenya from Dubai in a bridge of the ban on international flights on 13. So Betty Kiala was not even in Dubai. That was proved. So he's saying they were supposed to be quarantined until 27. But they, had, they, but they just had a meeting of more than 30 people in Karen on 20th again. In breach of anti-COVID restrictions. So a day earlier, Miguna Miguna is alleging that Relo Dinga, Junet Mohammed, and Hassan Joho held a meeting with the 30 people at Relo Dinga's residence. Anybody who has a stroke cannot have or chair meetings. Relo Dinga has been holding meetings in Karen. He met with the cabinet secretaries who went to Western Kenya. Relo Dinga then met with the Mulembe Youth Movement, led by Sefuna, Edwin Sefuna, the Udim Secretary General, Otsosi, the nominated, uh, the nominated member of parliament and Secretary General of NC, and Cleophas Malala. He met this group together with the Oparanya team, Eugene Omalwa team, and brought them together. Because this team had started parallel meetings in Western Kenya. And again, Raila Odinga has been meeting the Udim leadership that I'm aware of. But why is Raila Odinga at the coast? What is he doing at the coast? In my view, Raila Odinga is at the coast for four reasons. Number one, the first reason why Raila Odinga is at the coast, I think Raila Odinga wants time to recover. We all remember while Raila Odinga was still in Dubai, when the brother Uburu Odinga broke the news about the surgery, he indicated that Raila Odinga will come into the country and once he comes into the country, they were going to plead to Kenyans to allow Raila Odinga time to rest and recover. And Raila Odinga, in his own wisdom, decided to sneak into the country because his supporters had actually planned to organize for him the second edition of Baba While You're Away. So Raila Odinga decided to sneak so that he, can, he could have time to rest. But sadly, Raila Odinga has not had rest, in my view. I've even seen a picture with the sister strolling around. Of course, the sister is a part of the family. Raila Odinga has been meeting with the, with the ODM leaders, cabinet secretaries, senior government officials. So Raila Odinga has not had that opportunity to relax. So in my view, probably the family realized that Raila Odinga being in Karen, you can't stop people from coming. And I'm told, someone was telling me that he was passing there the other time and he realized that every single morning, there's these huge groups of youths from Kibra 
just at the gate of Raila Molodinga every single day since Raila Odinga came back into the country. So I think to avoid all this, they decided to take him to Mombasa just to have time. And you know Raila Odinga has several residences across the country. So probably he has one in Watamu and he's now enjoying or just relaxing to, to recover. That's number one. Number two, something also tells me that there is a chance that Raila Odinga has gone to Mombasa to self-isolate. Why am I saying this? When Raila Odinga traveled to Dubai, when he came back into the country, he was supposed to self-isolate for 14 days. That one did not happen. And he has been meeting with his ministers and the rest. But we know what has been happening. Three cabinet secretaries are alleged to have tested positive. I'm not sure whether some of them also met Raila Odinga. And even if they didn't meet Raila Odinga, these guys have been meeting and exposing themselves to each other. So I think Raila Odinga decided the best thing for me is to self-isolate. Then 14 days, then or maybe after 14 days, because according to, to ODM chairman John Badi, Raila Odinga is supposed to come back to Nairobi after four days. I don't think a person who is sick can leave Nairobi, go to Mombasa and just stay in Mombasa for four days and then come back. I'm looking at a situation where Raila Odinga is going to self-isolate probably for the next two weeks in Mombasa, if that's one of the reasons. Number three, I think I can easily conclude that Raila Odinga is also trying to avoid his supporters. These guys know that Raila Odinga is in current. Every single morning, they go there. They wait for him. So even if he's sleeping, they want to see him. They go back. The next day, blah, blah. His political activities are happening right inside Karen. So Raila Odinga probably wants now time to rest because I'm on record as having accused the handlers of Raila Odinga on how they were handling Raila Odinga at the face or in the face of this COVID-19 because this thing is real and it's here with us. So probably Raila Odinga is just at the cost just to let things relax avoid meetings, avoiding his supporters so that he can have enough time with the family. And that's why Mama Aida Odinga is with him just to ensure that everything is okay. Come on, chai, kumyele chai mzuri. Come on, you know, just like a responsible mother or wife can do to the husband. So Mama Aida is with him in Mombasa. I don't know whether the family is also, are also there, but something tells me the idea behind that is to avoid supporters. And number four, the fourth reason, which could be why he's at the cost, is again politics. Raila Odinga is a politician by nature. And when Raila Odinga came back into the country, we expected Raila Odinga to disappear. And of course, Raila Odinga has disappeared from the political scene. It's only Miguna Miguna who wants Raila Odinga to address him. And again, many people have also asked me why Raila Odinga is not addressing that. When Raila Odinga announced, came, I mean, came back into the country, the family announced that he was going to take a rest. But Raila Odinga has been meeting politicians from Nairobi, meeting ODM party leaders, fixing ABC, meeting the BBI brigades, fixing ABC, meeting close allies like Junet Mohamed, Hassan Joho, I mean, meeting with the Milembe youth and the rest. If Raila Odinga can do that to fix politics in uh, Nairobi, what stops Raila Odinga? from going to coast and Otamu, set a base there and use this time to fix the politics of that region. Of course, there are emerging issues at the coast. So when Raila Odinga is at the coast, you'd expect Amazon Kingi to visit him without much noise. Hassan Joho will visit him without much noise. Uh, the governor for Taita Taveta, for example, who is a wiper guy but now leaning towards Raila Odinga, would go there meeting. His key supporters, you know, there's even a by-election, which is supposed to be coming up. So those people will come to him, they discuss politics, so that by the time he leaves the coast, then everything is ready for the Building Bridges Initiative. Probably it's also there to discuss about the issues of uh, the, 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 the resource allocation, the bill which is stuck which cannot move at the Senate. I don't know what you think, 
But personally, I think those are the five reasons why Raila Odinga is at the cost. Four reasons why Raila Odinga is at the cost. And if you are watching this video for the first time, please, I want to just take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that next time you produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue. Thank you guys for your continued support. Without that support, this channel cannot be where it is today. I know a lot of you guys are supporting this channel by dropping your comments. I was reading a comment from a guy, Wayera. He's a very consistent guy. We've spoken at least on two or three occasions. And he gave me some advice that I should focus on uh, my own theories. And the challenge which I keep on telling people is that this channel, the idea behind it was to discuss the politics of this country, especially current affairs. For example, if today Raila Dinga was to leave Jubilee, I mean, was to leave the handshake and join William Samuel Ruto, then that's the current politics which I discuss. I don't want to come up with my own theory. I just want to foresee because politics is dynamic. It keeps on changing today, tomorrow. It keeps on changing like that. So what I'm focusing on is to predict based on current happening, what's going to happen tomorrow, the next day, maybe next week, next month, next year. How are these current happenings affect, affecting the politics in this country? So I can't come up with my own theory to discuss politics. Thank you guys and please may you have a good day.